Hello everyone, Ultra Dark Slayer here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I did promise I was gonna drop a special video uh, after my trip coming back from a certain place, but it seems to me that the video creation on my computer and even on the one on my phone, they're not combining the clips, but I'm afraid that video is not gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to do something else. But let me assure you, of course, the, the place that I have went during the weekend, last weekend, the Sunday on the 25th, I went to Disneyland. I went on a solo trip. I had an amazing time. And, of course, I also went to Galaxy's Edge. Now, you see these items on the table. I have created one of the new lightsabers, one of the refresh lightsabers. I got power and control for the first time so this is my second lightsaber from Sabi's workshop so now I wanted to go back to Sabi's workshop to get one of the older pieces but I didn't get a chance to do it but when I heard when they were going to refresh these lightsabers during um, Star Wars Celebration a year ago I was absolutely hyped been waiting for a long time. I only saw one uh, uh, blueprint of one of the new forged lightsabers, which was, of course, power and control. So it's the same pieces that you would see on that blueprint. But then, of course, uh, during what was it? Uh, near the end of 2022, slowly the new pieces were starting to come out. And then as the rest of the entire uh, uh, final weeks of, of 2022, the, the new uh, accessories for this uh, new forge of lightsabers have started to come out. And then all the way up to the spring. So now, of course, now all of the original uh, lightsabers have been are now have are now gone and now we have the newer versions so you would say this is season two of sabi's workshop so i so again all of the original pieces are now gone now there are newer pieces and of course there's another there's two items that i well there's one of the items that is old and another item that's new on that is on the table now i have a jedi holocron in uh, in one of my in my in my bookshelf but I have gotten myself a Sith holocron so I wanted to complete my my uh, galaxy's edge experience so now I have both holocrons and yes they still can combine to bring out a certain special feature and uh, I I could get the holocron right now so I think I'll pull it out right now give me a moment guys Okay, so I have brought out my, my Jedi Holocron. So let's put these two together and see what we get. For, but for those of you who know what it is, uh, just to let you know, it is a cool thing. And I've seen it a lot when these Holocrons first came out. Oh, it turned off because it didn't open all the way. All right. And here's the Sith Holocron. Now let's combine them, shall we? Oh, that was weird. Oh, it closed. That's why. Give me a moment, guys. I'm still pretty new at this. Okay, we got it. Let's see what it says.
<laughs> I'm having trouble, guys. Hold on. Jedi and there we go. So you get the idea. Hopefully that uh, that actually did pick up through the mic. So yes, when you have both of these holocrons, ladies and gentlemen, you do get the Bendu. So that's a pretty cool feature if you guys never had the holocrons before. So if you get both of these holocrons, you will get the Bendu. Now, mind you... Uh, when I went to Disneyland back in, um, what was it? Uh, when the land first opened, uh, it was, I think it was 2019. I think it was 2019. If I'm wrong, please, uh, comment down below, uh, if you can on the comments. And, um, I was just really happy that, that I got to have that experience I I did do the original lightsaber uh, Savvy's workshop over there and I still have my original lightsaber but yes ladies and gentlemen again this is my power and control lightsaber and with the crystal that I got for this blade it's of course a green lightsaber but I did switch out that crystal with one of the crystals I have right now it's of course a yellow kyber crystal I have no idea if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see it. Yes, it is a yellow kyber crystal. And um, now that I have a second lightsaber along with right here with my original, one of the first lightsabers that since the land opened was, of course, protection and defend. And this one is holding my first kyber crystal that I got from Galaxy's Edge, which is indeed the blue crystal. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up on the camera. No, it's leaning. Well, you get the, you get the idea, guys. I have a blue kyber crystal. That is, This is my first uh, build from Galaxy's Edge when the land first opened uh, for a few weeks for uh, for the event for those that went to do the preview before anyone else so I am happy that I get to share this with you guys uh, as for other kyber crystals I do have uh, a green one a purple one and a white one and I got a red one that I bought uh, along with uh, the Holocron. Now, mind you that the blade, the new blades, the Holocron had did went up in price, and of course it did drop a little bit down for for the for the lightsaber building. So, if you're planning to go to Disneyland and do this, prepare to uh, spend a lot of money. But if, uh, but if you don't want to buy uh, Sabi's Workshop lightsaber, there are uh, legacy lightsabers. Now, you guys are wondering what is this uh, item here. This item is very new that came out during May 4th. So, this is a, a uh, an adapter to do double, double, du double wielding lightsaber. 
Excuse me for a minute. Uh, yes. A double lightsaber. You, now, you can combine with your new lightsabers from Sabi's Workshop or your old lightsabers. So, I want to pause this video for a minute and give you that example right now. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the blade of both builds is extremely heavy. And funny enough, if you're planning to do this, I suggest display it. Uh, because sometimes these pieces do tend to uh, get loosened up because of this. So... Um, So yeah, so just be careful if you're going to play around with this. But if you want to display it, just display it. So I would not recommend playing with this around. It, it, it looks cool, but with playing it, it's not a good idea. That is just my suggestion to you guys. Now, like I said again, these lightsaber ha this lightsaber has the blue and this one has the yellow. So I'm going to show you how it looks like powered on together. Okay, it is powered on. Of course, this lightsaber is blue. And this lightsaber is yellow, if you guys can see it. I'm going to turn off the lights right now. So give me one minute. Blue. yellow but it looks kind of kind of white because of the light but it is yellow so so if you're planning to do double lightsaber like this I suggest getting the shorter blades longer blades is not a good idea so get shorter blades if you can over at Galaxy's Edge so these are the same shorter blades that I got from my Cal Kestis lightsabers and uh, it's better if you're planning to do dual wielding. Now I'm going to turn them off. And I'll be right back. So yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been doing over at Disneyland. And again, guys, I am sorry for the delay for that video. So I'm, I'm going to leave this video here for you guys to look at. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Uh, I'll try to do my best one more time to edit that, that video for you guys about me going to the park. If I can't, so I would like to apologize in advance. So until next time, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. We are in the world. Stay safe out there, everyone. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.